Hi, welcome to yet another episode of Field of Play. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Now, was it Winston Churchill that said, a nation that fails to honor its heroes will no longer have heroes to honor. I mean, what about ask not what your country can do for you, but ask what you can do for your country, Kennedy. Was it Abraham Lincoln that said, a nation that does not honor its heroes will no longer endure. So Ghana, why? Well, we come back, I'll tell you all about it. Yeah, I felt very sad when I heard this story, this news. So Ghana, why? I mean, what, what is it that we all want? To do our part in this world, do our part for our nations, our families and our countries. And at least hope that after we've done that, they will honor us what in their memory or at least if we have some sort of agreement with whichever entity we are working with they will honor that agreement so why i make reference to our coach of the under 20 world cup champion silas tete and then the calf under 20 world cup champion silas tete now this guy in the last 15 to 20 years is the only coach that has won ghana any serious medal first time an african nation winning the under 20 tournament was done by Salah Stete. he won as the african cup uh, under 20 african cup and then under 20 world cup i mean it was an amazing achievement i mean that was a tournament that brought the likes of andre morgan andre Dede Aju, dominic adia glassin awako all these good players daniel opari Jonathan Mensah, Samuel Inkun, Daniel Addo. This was a tournament that brought all these players into the limelight. They fought very hard and won Ghana that trophy. Now, so why? Why would you not pay them what they are due? At least I hear the players had an account open for them and the monies were put in those accounts. But what about the technical team? What about the coach, Salah Stete? I mean, apparently the man is even battling with some illness and recovering small. So what, what is wrong? What at all is wrong with Africa? Is wrong with Ghana? I mean, is it is it a surprise that we've not won any major titles ever since? When we keep treating our valiant heroes in this manner, people fight, they bleed, work so hard just to put joy in our hearts, joy in our faces, put a smile on our faces and when we are done, what is owed them, we don't give them. I mean, according to news, the technical team, including Sarah Stete, are owed about 4,000 US dollars and they have documentation to this effect. After the tournament, they were supposed to have been paid this as bonuses. But up to now, they've not been paid. During that time, NTT was the FA president. So NTT, what happened to those money? I'm asking you the question. Am I right to say no wonder there were issues with your presidency at that time, if these sort of issues were coming up or coming up after now? I mean, it's, it's, it's so bad, it's so bad. We have to try and put a stop to these things. If we want people to go all out and fight and die for the country, what does it mean to wear the red, gold, black and green? What does it mean to wear the red, gold and green for Ghana? What does it mean to sing the national anthem? What does it mean to go onto the world stage and fight for your country and bleed for your country just to come home and what is due you is not giving you? I mean, who does this? And yet we have people sitting in office embezzling millions of dollars they don't even go on the pitch to play and yet they take all these huge sums of money because what well, they are the administrators they are the ones in control of the funds please let's not do these things let's not do these things it's not fair it's not fair in the spirit of the game it's not fair please whoever spent that money let's make an effort on making sure that they get what they are doing FA president Keto Kumante, I know when this happened, you were not the FA president. But in the spirit of the game, at the type of person that I think and I know that you are, please sort the coaches out. Please sort Salah Stete out. Before the unfortunate happens, do we want them all 
to go to their graves bitter and angry? Is that what we want? No. Let's honor them whilst they are alive. When they won us the trophy, weren't we all happy? Didn't we all celebrate? Didn't we win money from that tournament? And how difficult is it? Eh? How difficult is it? Please, let's do the right thing. Let's do the right thing. Now, we've already spoken to Sarah Sete, if you remember, on the first episode of Fill the Play. That was the Liberty Professional Edition. You can go under the videos to check or go up the link and check that video. We spoke to him. He told us about how he got the name Bobovich and all the things that he's done for Ghana football. Apparently, Sule Muntari, Mike Lesson, Asamoah Derek Boateng, all these players came through him. They played for Liberty Professional. He nurtured and groomed them. If you want to check that video about how he talked about his journey to Nigeria and Sierra Leone, check it out on the Liberty Professional edition of the Field of Play Season 1. I'll end everything here. My name is Elitete Domoko and you've been watching the Field of Play. See you next time.